Discussion on J wave syndrome. J point is the end of the QRS complex marking the end of ventricular depolarization and the junction between depolarization and repolarization. J wave is a deflection with a dome or hump in the same direction as the R wave. Classically, a wave at the J point occurring in hypothermia has been called Osborn wave after the seminal work of John J. Osborn. Important J wave syndromes are early repolarization syndrome and Brigada syndrome. Early repolarization syndrome was initially considered as a benign condition till Isagre and Associates highlighted the relation between sudden cardiac arrest and early repolarization. They defined early repolarization as an elevation of QR's ST junction of at least 0.1 millivolt from baseline in inferior or lateral leads manifested as QRS slurring or notching. They compared 206 subjects resuscitated after sudden cardiac arrest due to idiopathic ventricular fibrillation and 412 subjects without heart disease who were matched for age, gender, race and level of physical activity. Early repolarization was noted in 31% of those with idiopathic ventricular fibrillation while it was seen in only 5% of the controls. During a mean follow-up period of 61 months, monitoring with implantable defibrillator showed higher incidence of recurrent ventricular fibrillation in those with a repolarization abnormality. Anselievitz and colleagues divided early repolarization syndrome into three types. Type 1 was early repolarization pattern predominantly in lateral leads, prevalent in healthy male athletes. Type 2 was predominantly in inferior and infralateral leads and associated with a higher level of risk. Type 3 displayed early repolarization pattern globally in inferior lateral and right precordial leads and was associated with highest level of risk for development of malignant arrhythmias and ventricular fibrillation storms. J-wave is mediated by the transient outward potassium current ITO. It has been suggested that arrhythmias associated with early repolarization, Brugada syndrome, hypothermia and those occurring in the acute phase of ST elevation myocardial infarction are linked to abnormalities in ITO mediated J-wave. ECG showing concave upwards ST segment elevation with a notch at the end of the QRS complex or a slurring of the terminal QRS seen in lateral leads is characteristic of early repolarization syndrome. J waves have been marked by red arrows. In an article by Frederick Sasha and Michael Heisagre in BMH Medical Journal, they highlighted on the need for specific definition for ERPS. They also mentioned that having an ERPS pattern is not a disease by itself. But it is crucial to give importance when there is a family history of sudden cardiac death and in patients with syncope having dramatic J-point elevation and a descending bar horizontal ST segment. They mentioned that even though 5% of Caucasian population may have this ECG pattern, only 1 in 2500 are at risk of ventricular fibrillation. Here is another ECG with early repolarization syndrome as evidenced by the concave upward ST segment elevation in leads V2 to V6. J waves have been marked by blue arrows.